It is time for my favorite um, time of the, the, of the week. Flashback Fridays. <laughs> Today I am st start. This is the series where um, I look back at games of the past to see how they hold up today. And for Flashback Friday, this time, I'm going to start a, a series of Flashback Fridays with one of my favorite games of all time. This isn't just, you know, like, that really didn't mean that. It's genuinely one of the best um, superhero games, at least in this era. Makes sense to me. And oh my goodness, I have to be gushing this entire playthrough. This... This was done by Radical Entertainment. Ooh, I've done this. <laughs> There's just a more than their fair share of games. Such as... Simpsons Hit and Run! They also did the prototype series, which... Kind of inspired by this game. Um, they also, in fact, Prototype 2 was their last game. They did work as a sort of support team for Bungie for Destiny 1, <laughs> but that's pretty much it. That you got some sense. They actually did the, um, you know, like the 2003 Hulk game that was based on the terrible, terrible, terrible movie, and the game was just as bad, honestly. What's the game specifically? It's just called Hulk. It was based on the movie 2003. It was the movie tying game. Oh, it was based on the one that was the founder of the MCU. Yeah. The movie, I think, it was decent for the time. It was. Like I said, for the time. For the fans? Yeah, it was. At the time, it was good. Because, like, there was. There's been two Hulk movies. Hulk. Just called. Well, there's actually been far more than that. But, in terms of, you know, two like. Two in the modern era. Yeah, the modern era. In the modern era, you have 2003's Hulk. Then, I think, the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. The movie was. Uh, I want to say after Iron Man? Right. I don't... And, uh, this is something I feel like it should be something that we stood at recent note. I don't think the Hulk works in the modern era. Okay. For a movie. As Hollywood views it. I feel like the Hulk's time has gone and has come and gone for live action. Okay. For people wondering... Make sure that if you want subtitles, you when you start up the game, you'll kind of be locked into the story mode menu. So you go, you'll need to go into options by pressing triangle, going into options, then sound. There's also there's also a fair few cheats that you can put in to um, get yourself some different costumes and all some extra goodies. I'll go more in. I'll go more into the cheats a little bit later. <laughs> like, probably at the end of the session. You only get easy and normal to start off with. You get hard by beating the game. So, guess what we're playing on? We're playing on normal. Now, if you want me to explain why this game is so good... Just... You know what? The tutorial will basically help explain it all. <laughs> There's a thin line between good and bad. I walk that line every single day. When I stray from it, people die. My name is Bruce Banner, and this is me. I'm not a person anymore. I'm the Hulk. I did this to myself, all in the name of science. This is me, and all that I've become. I'm a big, green, tiger. 
time bomb. And I'm ticking. I trust me guys, when we start the here comes the tutorial now. And the way they present the tutorial is pretty ingenious. Welcome to the Hulk Survival Program. In this series of exercises, you will approximate Hulk's basic abilities, the implication being that when facing the Hulk in direct combat, you will have the advantage of knowing his capabilities through your VR experience. Yep, they have you playing as a soldier, playing as the Hulk in VR. Hulk I, excels I at destruction. Try running into various obstacles here to get a sense of the creature's power. While this is merely a virtual representation of the beast, be reminded that Hulk is actually capable of most feats demonstrated here. Another example of Hulk's immense strength, he seems capable of picking up virtually any object in his path. Approach any object and press the grab throw control to... This was released on Xbox, GameCube, and um, PS2. There's also a PC port, but it's a different game, basically. The PC version of this game is the one I played, and it's shit. This is an open world adventure game, basically in the style of GTA. Mm -hmm. But you get to play as the Hulk. It's... A lot of games don't the really let button. you feel, we'll you know, like Hulk's the sheer power of the, like, the character that you're got. playing. These will often launch or and the PC person does not do that. Uh, As with Hulk's other techniques, holding the button will increase the power of each technique. Uh, is the it is vitally Hulk. important to research Hulk's various combat abilities. At he is not only powerful, but extremely fast. Time, when in close, uh, is, uh, do not hesitate uh, against him. And fight uh, fight uh, yes. to win. Consult your field manual for a complete list of Hulk's known shit. combat techniques. There's no doubt about that. It was absolute shit. Ah, I feel sorry for you playing the PC version then. Now, you can... To be fair, I... I... No, I hate it. But I also managed to get it. Essentially what happened was I got a, a call from a store which I tried which we had gone to get a cert from. They didn't have the right size. So in lieu of us well we had to get the cert because it was for us. It was a uniform cert that we had to wait for. They gave us three games in each for each week that we had to pay. Wow. Yeah, uh, that, the also, this is this is why I love uh, this, this this game a little bit. Pick up a cow, knock onto an enemy. Now you can once you complete one of these training missions, you can just leave and go straight onto the um, main story. I'm gonna do all three of the training missions because you actually unlock a little, a little something extra for you know taking the time to do them all. Hulk's primary method of movement is his ability to leap long distances. Even his smaller jumps are considered impossible by most standards. Follow the instructions on your display to familiarize yourself with this phenomenon. Now your mobility isn't great right now. Bitch, trust me, oh ho ho. Cause this has sort of RPG elements to it. When you, when the more stuff to smash, the more smash points you gain, which leads you being able to buy more and more moves. And when you manage to um, deck out Hulk completely, oh ho 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 my goodness, the stuff that you can do. This is where we get introduced to our first main connectable. <laughs> there are a dozen of comic book covers placed throughout the world. 
you all knock features like cheats, smash points, and special content. I'm going to try to find every one if I can. There's another one right over there, but that's for, you know, like, leaving the whole thing. Okay, so let's see. Line number two is over here. I bring my OCD if I wanted to do these in order. <laughs> Once the beast has located a perceived threat, he will launch objects with no regard for human life. Tap or hold the designated grab throw button. To be fair, an that's why I, I always tell people. I think Press and like hold that crazy the target I just button think that to target an to enemy. Take All attacks will be launched towards that target. It makes way too much sense given the rest takes it to be spinning all the time. Now. Throwing objects is semi homing. They will sort of lean towards the target, but you know, won't knock on completely. So you still have to, you know, uses heavy concentrate. These can be thrown with devastating power. <coughs> For target, if you distances. aim at the, Pressing at the target, the grab throw that? button will hit the targets at the oh, yeah. Now, where's like... I'm gonna throw a cow at this helicopter because I can. If I can find one. Because for some reason, these things right here, they're indestructible. Another thing I love, just hearing like the, the soldiers' reactions to like you charging, running, or throwing. They'll be like, "Oh my god!" I mean, be fair, they act like they had the gun and stuff going in the face. How the hell would you even go in? Saw the whole really running at your face for doing something like that. Knock on is will be deadly important when you're like surrounded by a whole bunch of um, robots and enemies, so make sure to keep that in mind. If you want to get everything, then you know I highly suggest doing this. This is where we get introduced to to wall which is actually pretty satisfying. Press and hold the grab to approximate Hulk's ability to climb sheer surfaces. Try it now. It's obvious that they took a lot of inspiration for this game from the um, Spider-Man 2 movie game. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I have absolutely zero problem with that. I mean, that's why I said the, the, game, the PC version was really a... Like, it was stainless. Like, all the bad guns were really ripped straight from the, the GPA version of the Spider-Man 2 game. Like, dude, that's stainless. How did you have to be to do that? Yeah, but you know, like, like you know, like, like, being inspiration, I mean, like, how Hulk has, you know, wall climbing, wall mm -hmm. running, the fact that you can explore the city at, you know, at your, um, at your leisure. Like I said, your, the control isn't great at the start of the game. But you, There's, you know, being overpowered, like being the Hulk, and then there's just being, you know, too overpowered. Oh, yeah. The, here comes the main gimmick of this game, weaponization. You can set an object, press the triangle button, and you will weaponize it. So since I picked up a missile pack, I got a tail car, and now I get to use it to throw free missiles.
fly away. Trust me, weaponization gets a lot more crazy. And in fact, you. And I said you get something a little bit extra for doing all three. Here's our first cheat code. Oh, Canada. Once Hulk has acquired an object, the creature will frequently manipulate it to fashion a makeshift weapon, charging a missile, or battery. A favorite ploy, also referred to as the steel fist technique, is to turn a vehicle into a pair of metal gauntlets. Press the special I was gonna to try demonstrate summer. this weaponization. Play some on my end, but I can't do that vlog in time I come back in. Oh. Okay, you can do small little mini tutorial to create steel fists. I mean, picking up any, you know, like, slightly small, you know, like, average sized cars so that you create this weaponization, which increases your punching them. strength. As if Hulk needed to increase that strength anymore. You know, impressive for this time. I say that the game has aced Gravity, what Brian movie has. Oh, this is this game is aged amazingly. You get to explore as much as you want, you don't need to worry about your help in going down while you're in the tutorial, but we will have to get the story moved on eventually. <laughs> the way I plan to more or less do this, um, paper is to do, you know, pretty much every chapter. If a chapter ends up being smaller than you know, ends up being shorter than usual. I'll do two, maybe. Bruce, where the hell have you been? Oh, out getting some fresh air. Well, I'm glad one of us was. All right, listen to me. I've intercepted a transmission coming out of Branson Military Base. Some spook named Blonsky's taking charge. They're planning a major foray in your direction as we speak. Bruce, he's requisitioned half the men and supplies on the base. They know you're out there and they're coming for you. I want you to come back into town and lay low for a while. You're in real danger out there. Len, if I came into town, everyone would be in danger. Bruce, as your doctor, I'm urging you to reconsider. Your health's deteriorating by the hour. You're not going to find a cure for the Hulk out there by yourself. Hey, you worry too much. Nobody knows I'm here. I know this voice acting, man. Hello, Dr. Banner. I've waited a long time to make your acquaintance. Now the... This game was... Um, the inspiration, so to speak. Send a warning shot his way, General. Oh, if Banner's in bit. there, I want him to get the point. Quickly. Don't be ridiculous, Blonsky. We give away our position. <sighs> Corporal, send in a fire team. One round towards the outhouse by the west wall. Yes, sir! Alpha One Niner, Tango is in the clear. I repeat, Tango is clear. Right, anyway, as I was saying, this was like a small inspiration for the, the, the Hulk movie that was meant that you know, that was for the MCU, but... You know, obviously, Banner's um, actor changed in between that movie and the 
and, well, the Avengers. Go, go, go! And then, well, you know, they decided to to use that movie to make a tying game. Okay, so with tanks, uncharged attacks will not be able to damage them, so you have to, like, fully charge your attack in order to damage them. Defeating enemies will cause them to, to drop health and answer, don't worry. And to say that the in the, the tying game based on that um, MCU movie was basically just a, a you know a much worse version of this. Like uh, I would give it that Oh. It, no, it literally is. Because it's no, pretty much using, it, it is like the same I engine. Because it is nearly, you know, the, you know, like, same engine and all, so it's but you know, they somehow made okay. it worse. I went to the public I didn't even realize it was supposed to be trying it was trying to have played this game. Like I thought I'm like I wouldn't give it that bit, but it really took me looking up on Wikipedia to matter. figure out what the game was supposed to be in this the first place. Is just when you done issue. that, you have fucked up. I hope hard. you're satisfied, Blossy. The Hulk got away. He'll turn up. He's a freak and a conspicuous one. I'm more concerned with what Banner left behind. There. I want that bio-container before it's destroyed. Careful, Blonsky! You have no idea what you're playing with. I have a job to do, General. Banner left his toys in the playground, and I'm not about to watch them burn. Yes, that's smart. Picking up a ding, uh, damaged bio-container in a fire. How could this possibly backfire? The weather alert will continue with heavy rains coming in from the northwest. Meanwhile, the governor plays down suggestions the Hulk is still in the area. Residents are urged to remain... They took the machine from me. It was the only chance I had. I didn't have anywhere else to go. Okay, follow me quickly. You should have come here sooner, Bruce. Look, I know, and I'm sorry. The sickness is getting worse. I think the Hulk's trying to break away from me, and I... I don't know how long I'll be able to contain it. It's far from completion, but it's a start. With your expertise added, we can get into your neural generators and figure out what triggers the beast. Not with this kind of processing power. I mean, Len, how are we going to equip it? I already thought of that. Here, put this on. What is it? Think of it as a video game. Ha! Huh? So, we're about to get a pretty comic book, you know, explanation for why the Hulk has been able to, is going to be able to do what we tell him to do. I mean, it is based off a of video game, a uh, comic book, so they got to pull out something. Oh, no, this is a completely original story. No, I was talking about the character. Yeah. The, the... Okay. Every so often you'll get one of these recaps that basically tell you what happened last time.
Bruce Banner and the Hulk are barely escaped from a surprise assault on Banner's secret hideout thanks to that second warning from Banner's friend and associate Dr. Leon Leonard Samson. But Banner's remaining hope for a cure for his affliction. The machine decided to delve into his psyche and quell the beast within. Spinetta wounds as a result of the attack. Now Banner has a new adversary, a former NSA operative named Emil Bronski. He has taken joint command of the Sinister Division along with his military counterpart, General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. Bronski exhibits a profound hatred of all gamma red irradiated creatures and will stop at nothing to first dissect and subsequently destroy them all. In a moment of haste, Bunsky attempts to retrieve a vial of radioactive material from the wreckage of Banner's machine and is himself flooded with a massive dose of gamma rays. CGI cutscene time. You're looking at a 3D model of a handheld neural interface. It can perform read or write operations directly into a patient's mind. In effect, the device force feeds mission objectives into your mind, then violently transforms you into the Hulk. I know it won't be pleasant, but it's the only chance we've got. And now we just got our first and, um, entry into the main hub world. <sighs> I hope you're prepared because you'll fall right into your first mission as soon as you enter. If you're not sure where to do, you can find these little tutorial, tutorial markers. We have a 1011. A unit responding on the scene. Oh. Kill us all! What the hell is that? Four. This is cute. The police think they can stop the Hulk. You there? Uh, you have the right to remain silent. I think the reason why the Hulk is to be stopped by the Hulk. Because they figured it out after a while. Hands in the air. You could only throw this in uh, like giant ball right now, but eventually you'll be able to like use it as a bowling ball, which is hilarious. So what Samson was um, saying about uh, feeding mission objectives into your mind and then transforming into the Hulk, you're about to see exactly what he means. And honestly, it's a pretty ingenious way of, you know, rather than just, okay, the Hulk's not smashing everything in sight. I say this as I'm currently smashing everything in sight. We need to take a big risk. There's a difference. Uh, We're going to use the Hulk to help us build get. the machine through hypnotic implants and auto so suggestion. They it's going to take about 5,000 kind of watts to run the equipment. And you want me to smash up the main grid? The Just the relevant yeah. parts. Works. I've identified three key substations that need to be taken out, but be yeah, careful. All, They're surrounded by high voltage Tesla fields. Pretty much so does have <laughs> Give this, the Hulk this, a and this Hulk doesn't attack. He doesn't attack them in the meantime. This is another thing that I really like about this game. When you start a mission briefing, you get voiceovers from 
Samson and Banner just like give it a bit more lore into what it is that you're actually doing. You don't have to listen to it, but I personally like doing that. So yeah, basically what's happening with the Hulk is that the device that Samsung created essentially hypnotizes the Hulk into doing what you need to do. Which is brilliant. Because you want to smash one particular object, hypnotize the Hulk into doing just that. Rather than you know, just run, rather than sending him blindly into the city and um, what you see, he destroys the entire city just like you know, going around. I think it's really clever that they essentially you know like use you know VR equipment to hypnotize the Hulk. Samson even refers to it as a video game, which obvious fourth wall break is obvious. Oh, at least it's a camera way to do it. Is that helpful? Is that the another comic book icon? That is health I do not need right now. Because, like, the health I got right now is nothing compared to the health I've got by completing the save file. There is a new game plus feature which I could have used to, to you know, like, to, to do this one. But I wanted to do this authentically, you know, like, start afresh. I'll take this cop car, thank you. There are two types of missions, story and challenge missions. <coughs> story, I don't think I need to explain. Challenge missions are basically side quests. I will try to do as many side quests as I can. I've never actually completed them all. Because some of them... If you want to get these guys off your back, one thing that you can do is just go ahead and start the challenge mission. So this one's effectively, you know, just a time trial. Fairly standard stuff. 
stupid. Oh boy, the craziness that you get with some of these challenge missions is something. For example, you see all these cop cars around the area? Imagine using them to play golf. Silver? Really? Ah, I think I could do better. Again, these missions will give out um, experience points for you to use. So I think it's worth doing them. I mean, you can get a fair decent amount of them just by doing the story mode. But, if the, but some of the, um, you know, like, upgrades that you can get and some of the outfits that you can unlock are really expensive so unless you you know like don't mind doing the disc grinding just by smashing everything in sight for, for ages I actually do recommend doing the, the missions still silver sheesh maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to come back once I um I upgraded my mobility a bit, but I'll give it one more shot. I hope we shot at you serious. I'm trying to do a um a jump so that I could shave off a bit of my time but I ended up overshooting the freaking marker. <laughs> that actually aggravating. Did you just not Right, I'll come back once I upgraded my mobility slightly. The little yellow things you may see dotted around the map are uh, smash point connectors so they'll give you slightly more, you know, experience boost the, than, the, than just smashing the things. Fight. Fight. And if I get right my nose. We'll have to be quick. Blonsky knows we're on to him. According to an intercepted memo, his backup data is on a computer terminal inside Division HQ. <laughs> We need to rip out the mainframe and bring it back here before Blonsky realizes his mistake. The information it contains could be vital to our chances of success. So, Autumn. Yeah? Do you like escort missions? 
depends on the game. If it's one way you can at least beat the shit out of the escort afterwards, then yes. <laughs> I like my microphone um, cables appear to be a little bit stuck. <laughs> oh, bless me. Hello, I think Leslie before does it pretty well. Because command tower, we are on course for cargo collection. The game sets up the actual uh box right. after the escort is in pretty bad. So look for the red and the kind of save for the star side, right? That's fair enough. That's a good reason for doing the escort. So it's like it's really the mission for the whole game. For me, it's not because that makes sense in context. Yeah. Fair enough. This is Jackal. Better get that card to look double time. It is a relatively decent way why you're doing the escort mission. It's fine. Because you're not just stuck trying to save that. You're not stuck with the escort. 24-7, basically. Oh. Charity, here, 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 on my way down. Okay, so... Now we just need to exit the hub world without this being destroyed. So, you know... Be careful. If that blue bar drops to zero, you do just... It's unlikely to happen. In fact, you're probably more likely to die from the hits of the missiles than the, uh... Um... That being destroyed? Yeah. Key to all our problems is Neil Blonsky. We know he was sent by the NSA team. to monitor gamma oh, prisoners spot, held like, inside uh, the vault. Yeah. If you ask me, so Blonsky is a do, very uh, dangerous individual. His record suggests an emerging game. persecution complex, perhaps a borderline personality I, I, disorder. I don't think you but guys. You better believe. The main he's here to supervise Ross. Right, he's he's trying to find a military application for gamma transformation. Admittedly, some of the writing here and there can be a bit... Uh, that doesn't sound like it read quite correctly. Oh. Or it could be a thing that was changed after the recording was done. Because mm -hmm. sometimes that does happen when the script is what the one way during recording, but then they change it uh, during subtitle time. Okay, so now... On the top right corner of our screen, we basically got the... Equipped then two GTA stars. <laughs> Destroyed too many things, you get a strike team sent after you. I wouldn't worry too much about the strike teams. Usually, if you can take them out, you'll regain the health that you lost during the battle. You know what, I think we got enough um, smash points that we can buy a couple of upgrades and I can show you what the... Um, Menu looks like. Oh yeah, we got more than enough for quite a few things. Oh Jesus Christ! So I think you could buy everything on this first screen. Probably not. But we could... no, I was talking about the part. Uh, with yeah. The... So let's um, buy what we can first. Dashing straight. You can press the square button to basically attack while moving. Mm. Air recovery, so you know, basically just hey, you've been hit and you're knocked in. It's basically just a way of reducing knockback. 
<laughs> Running grab, I don't think I need to explain this. But this is something that's particularly cool for some of the moves in the game. You actually get to um, do a mini tutorial on for the move. Some of the more basic ones like punching while running doesn't have a tutorial but I think it's actually pretty cool today that you do this. Try following the on-screen instructions. We need to get a handle on these new powers. Good, good. Trust me when I say that running grab is... Oh, it is essential. This will, this will allow you to pick up things like items that you need to retrieve to bring back to the base. If you want to redo any of the tutorials that you did when you, when you were first at the tutorial, no. okay. then you just need to find these the star markers around the tutorial area. And like the on-screen instruction said, Hulk cannot take damage in this area. So, it is great for practicing if you're unsure of, um, of your techniques. Okay, so uh, this is something that part of the reason uh, the game I'm playing is part of the reason I've been I'm trying to figure out a way to save for my phone to do a mobile uh, gaming series. This is a conversation I think is funny. Where so this is just a excerpt of one scene from the game. So there's anyone in the school by face and name. Your character responds with, uh, wow. But then the character is talking goes, Plus, it kind of whips me out. It feels like she's like a robot, you know? And then the person they're talking about is like, A pleasure to meet you. The name, student castle present, and then, Do you have any business with this robot? Uh, are you serious? We're only 700 points away from getting um, the, the last item before um, the critical move. Yeah. Gosh darn it. So yeah, we we basically just bought some, you know, some basic combos. Yeah, one of them, the punt kick, punt kick is one of my favorites. <laughs> Maybe fair. It's fun to punt things. Oh ho ho ho! Yeah, especially when you get to some of the later enemies in the game. I'm gonna do something. Most of these moves will just outright kill normal soldiers, so you won't have too much use for them. But when you get to like mini mechs and that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> to unlock more jump markers, you just need to run over them. I just haven't really ran into any of them so far. I have elevated threat status. If I recall correctly, there's actually specific types of buildings. Yep, there you go. Oh. If you see a building that looks exactly like this one, these ones you can actually um, knock down if you can see beat on them. Surprisingly, that only got me up to three, and it didn't cut by the full-on strike team. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna... 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 I
It's worth it to destroy these buildings. You get a crap ton of smash points. And yeah, you just saw why that is one of my favorites. That hand is also particularly fun to use. You know what? We're actually next to a couple of challenge missions. So why not? <laughs> Defeat as many enemies as possible before time runs out. Like I said, I'm going to try to do as many of these as I can. that I miss, you know, like from not having my computer save file is, is the uh, knack of it, the hash so I can actually do something kind of testing to see if this idea I have works. Okay. I'm disappointed that that particular soldier blew up my projectile, but... Oh! When the Hulk speed probably just critical masses, rage feeds them and strength giving them a substantial increased damage. And then they'll be able to buy devastating special attacks. So yeah, basically if you pick up more health than your max health, you'll get an extra bar of health which you can then spend to do really, really damaging special moves. Okay, Silver, you know what? I will take that. I expected that to be a bronze, but... <laughs> I am more than happy with, um... Getting... <laughs> getting something that I wasn't expecting to get. Because I thought I did terrible, in all honesty. Okay, yeah, that works. That has to work. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to this audio, but so I can steam from my phone if I write to do stuff. So. That's good enough. <laughs> it probably so. will it probably be pretty um, awful quality on the steam, but at least there's something. Uh, no, the the game the awesome thing is it's just the game audio. <laughs> Get as many vehicles onto the building as you can before time runs out, and the higher the better. Oh! Now see, this is the kind of thing that I said that can go kind of, you know, bonkers to the wall. You would expect the... Thank you for the host! Yeah. I did a test stream on things, so... I'm gonna probably do some act. Uh, we'll probably do some behind the scenes stuff later on. With me testing out this how streaming goes. Uh, my uh, all goes well. We will have another uh, six, uh, streaming uh, series going on that we can count on. So.
Let's see how it goes. That, that would be a pain in my butt because of the fact that I probably have to constantly be doing apps and reacting apps and all that sort of stuff to keep things going, but... Oh, come on, the get price on of top of that. Okay, so they have to actually stay on the building. Good to know. I'll take that. I think I need to get more maneuverability. Once I get my air dash, I'll be able to do that a lot better. But you know what I just realized? I got enough points to buy pretty much the last, um... That's upgrade before um, well, for this chapter anyway.
Okay, so last time we had to do an escort mission, but we had to take something to We have the... a target of opportunity. I've hacked a lab computer at a division research facility. Which is illegal? Very. I just tripped a failsafe so Blonsky knows I'm inside. He'll destroy the entire place before he allows the download to complete. You're asking me to run protection while you loot the network. Six or seven minutes, that's all I need. Yep, exactly. We're, we're not taking an item to the hideout. This time we're making sure that the building doesn't get destroyed. So, yeah, I am actually, in hindsight, super glad I bought those upgrades. Okay. Doing another test, because I just remembered I could lower the game audio, so I'm going to retest to see how the audio sounds. Alright. So, okay, so it's talking about how the time it goes down to zero, then the mission fails, but yeah, this is the exception, this is an exception.
What the hell do you mean, need to know basis? Calm down, General. You're going to have an aneurysm. You've commandeered the inner vault and established a level 15 clearance. Only the president and senior cabinet members have that access. Surely you of all people don't need a lesson in protocol, General. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be more concerned with keeping the Hulk in check? You're not as clever as you think you are, Blonsky. If I so much as imagine you're keeping anyone but God Almighty in that cell, I'll find out and be on you like a dog on a rotten steak. Best part is that I during that whole like moment when Bond Steve is kind of like feeling the power coursing through his arm, the controller was actually vibrating. <laughs> right, I'm gonna save. Use the points that we earned to to get some more upgrades. Or did they at least get what we can? Okay, yeah, we now have, we now bought everything in chap, in chapter one. I wasn't expecting to get them all so soon. But you're not going to complain. Because that means that if you get it now, you don't have to wait about it later on. Yep. It means now I can just focus on getting the points that I can and then save save them up for um chapter two. Imagine this is by another game. It, it lets you feel like the power of the Hulk rather than just, you know, an arcade game featuring the Hulk. You've got this entire gigantic city, you know, like city all around you. That, as long as you can see it, you can go to it. Like, The rain defense are pretty darn good. And do I admit that the graphics have aged a bit? Yeah, but it still looks pretty bloody good for the PS2 era, you know? And let's be honest, a GTA style game was the perfect fit for this counter. Now, if only we could get a good Superman game, am I right? To be fair, that's a hard one. Yeah. Doing yeah, that one, for what they've done, for what the work is, they've done well with the shit they got to work out. And, yeah, by the way, if you pick up this, let's see if I could just get on top of the field. Yeah. 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 Oh, sweet, well, well, points, uh, smash points, yeah. you pick up, like, some of that throats like this, yeah, Hulk can essentially fly, look 
the amount of distance I'm freaking getting. This is insane. Okay, so I'm gonna throw down gently over here so I can grab. The white circles on the ground are just um, signed up by yellow uh, additional jump markers, so basically extra jumping points that you can get back to your hideout quicker. Okay, I think it's time I finish the, uh, the floating cover. We have to start putting the machine together. I'm stuck without a hydraulic lift to move the heavier parts. I need a generator for power conversion and a CAT scan apparatus to get an accurate topographic image of your brain. The locations of these items are marked on the map. So I go from destruction of property to shoplifting. Wow, I am just racking up the jail time. So don't get caught. Just be aware they've ramped up security at all locations. It gets harder from here on out. <laughs> this is what I love about these mission briefings. You get a bit more character out under these amazing voice actors. <laughs> just like, again, with that just one sentence, wow, I'm just racking up the jail time, don't get caught. It's the banter between these two friends that really solidifies that character. Now, yeah, here's the uh, game that I'm talking about. Uh, screenshot, I just gave you the screenshot of the game I'm playing. And it's the reason I went to do the uh, bubble screens, because I figured this is about the game that was honestly probably would just ignore because they're bubble games that are free to play. Now, you don't. There are three parts that you have to take back to the church, but you don't have to take them in the. Uh, any, um, you know, the city with the kill Mute... Mute... Okay, I knew you can remember that. Let's, uh, take care of these rocket guys first before we, um, end up, um... Getting ourselves shot at. Okay, you decided to run away and fall off the building. That's um, that was smart of you. Oh, I think that is. I suppose a few broken bones of um, falling off the building is slightly more preferable to um, you know, like I don't know, be grabbing this, be grabbing this guy off the roof. And then just I mean, I and then just toss the the Yeah. And then just being tossed like a rag doll. Cause I mean that's gonna be more than just a few broken bones if you ask me. damage that I would have liked, but it's still in one piece, that's what matters.
Thankfully, you know, like doing missions like these, the um, GTA, you know, like star thing is disabled, so you don't let it do with additional cool stuff. But you already need to But stars, you know, a GTA guy. You know, did the military so skid the Hulk that maybe, you know, they should actually, you know, Help Dr. Banner because you know he's trying to get rid of the whole Bang General Ross. It's like I want to kill the Hulk. Banner's like I want to kill myself so the Hulk is never seen again. Oh well, it's, it's all General Ross is a lot more said that the Hulk learning it has to deal with. I might be misremembering, but I seem to remember that, you know, like, the Hulk animated series back in the 90s, you know, back when, like, the, the, the Spider-Man animated series was going on, I seem to remember the Hulk one being pretty darn good. I have no knowledge of the Hulk, so I don't know if the Hulk we have ever seen is the MCU version of it, and the 60s uh, Hulk. TV sound, so. I know I heard that Agents of Smash isn't too bad. I know that um, Hulk and the um, Avengers cartoons have been pretty um, entertaining as well. That's actually something that's also quite nice. During these retrieval missions, if you actually end the mission at the um, church, you'll sometimes get a little veteran animation, which is actually, you know, pretty nice and just shows a bit more count than the whole crowd and just smash, smash, smash. And I think what's funny is what did that why people don't realize because just the immediate he's in to don't realize that the Hulk. The Hulk in the Hulk form is a the bloody Christian apparently. It's like what the shit? Huh. Oh the, Yeah. That's right. You will never see the Hulk ever attack the tricks. That's interesting. Or right. any form of resistability. Okay. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be quiet for this moment because uh, we've got uh, another mission briefing them um, voice over. Oh, yeah, no point. Yeah, There's something it, happening at the military base. I mean, Listen to this transmission. Out. We're under attack. Some kind of creature came out of nowhere. Did he say some kind of creature? I'm pretty sure that's not you, Bruce. Better go check it out before someone decides this is your fault. Okay, so boss time. Okay. You'll get one of these at the end of every chapter. 
So as soon as you see a, a um, mission marker at the church, you know that it's time for a boss fight. Mm -hmm. What did you do to me, you freak? You've turned me into an abomination! Do you have the guts? Let's find out. This is one of the more entertaining fights in my opinion. Oh yeah, I forgot the right green. Oh yeah, he's always been green. It's, it's just you know like a slightly different shade to differentiate him from the Hulk. Punt kick is deadly good Damn against you. this guy. But only, only if you punt him, if one that was in the Incredible Hulk movie, was, and that one was a you're getting ahead of yourself and color. You can't, you can't just go for a straight up snug fest, but... Just not getting to it. more like, I would not recommend it. Come on, you mindless freak! I actually find the fact that the Hulk except the Hulk and the Hulk the Hulk more is a default crazy. Very interesting because the Bruce Banner himself is a Jew. So it's like the bottom the two bridges that pick up. Two very options. This is a lot of Because a lot of it, that time, that time, there's a lot of people just perfect the whole thing as we can say it is. Oh god. Ah, he's deadwood. Yeah. You just don't get it. You'll come back soon enough. What? Ah, uh, look at this hell! There we go. Fuck off with the one that one inch. Yeah. Unfortunately, I could not get the ending which I really wanted. Because here's the thing: if you manage to interrupt his um, toxic race throwing attack, he will be put into a grabbable state for you. Then you can just grab him and toss him into one of the toxic race containers at the side of the arena to base the OTK him. What happened here, Captain? We got our butts kicked, General. Good news is we managed to get most of our vital equipment inside. General Ross, over here. I saw it happen. Plain as day. It's okay, sir. You're safe. Them two creatures are gone. No, no. I saw what happened. With my own eyes. The hope was to blame. Yes, you get blamed for the devastation despite the fact it was clearly a different creature that was attacking the base. To be fair, I think it's the same situation that happened to the Hulk as what happened to Sonic all the damn time. Or it's the Saturday thing. It, it only happened to Sonic really once really. It's Amy who keeps getting the hedgehogs wrong. I mean, that's also what I'm recording. I think it's that same, the same thought process that Amy has that's getting the hook to too, so much damn trouble. Bruce Banner's run temporary sanction of the church hide up his friend Dr. Leonard you know, Samson. Together the two men hope to recreate Banner's early experiments and construct a machine capable of subduing the, beast, the raging beast within him. 
Mishima created a direct connection to Banner's mental landscape where he can confront his dark alter ego. Banner knows time is running out, he, sens he senses a subtle yet significant change within him. A new, darker personality is emerging within his mind. Meanwhile, Emil Bonsky is experiencing a transformation of his own. His exposure to the balance gamma rays has altered Bonsky's own genetic material, transforming him into the deadly thing he despises. Bonsky has become a mutant, an abomination in his eyes, and he will stop at nothing to make Banner pay for what he has done. Except it was your own damn fault to pick up the container! Right. Since we finished the chapter, we can go into the church and buy some new moves, which I think is probably worth doing. Considering that we got the crud ton of points just from be just from fighting Bronski there. Okay. Snam kick. Hmm. Snam and two hundred. Ooh, that sounds nice. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the new weaponization. Try following the on-screen instructions. We need to get a handle on these new powers. So when you pick up a slightly larger vehicle, you got a You're shield. Doing well. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Excellent. You can you can even use it to defend yourself. <gasps> Throw it like a boomerang. I don't know how that works, but uh, comic book that's logic. Uh, I wish I could think that means the focus is so strong that you can do that. Smash, like smash it into the ground, or just shove it. Yeah, or shove enemies out of your way. I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely forgot that you could, like, it, that it acts as a boomerang. <laughs> Let's see, what's next? Shockwave Smash. Oh, very nice. Yes! Air Dash! Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, I, I need to get 4,000 more points. What else can I get then? Dash and Sonic Crap. There's probably nothing that's worth 3,000. Yeah. Okay, so you can see that these items have gone then quite a bit more expensive since since the previous chapter. Heck. You need 25,000 just to increase your max health. That does make sense though. They wouldn't make that cheap. Let's see what we got. Once we get 12,000, I'm coming back here immediately to buy the, the, the jump, the air dash. Some streams, I might have to do some grinding for some of the upgrades off stream. You know, just do actual grinding thing. On just smashing things over and over. But I guess we'll see how the playthrough goes. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the second area of the, the game, the desert. Problem. Blonsky's people have tapped into our navigational systems, and they're using the feedback to triangulate the Hulk's position. Which means what in English? Which means they can track every move you make via your specific energy signature. There are multiple satellite uplinks spread across a wide area. 
We need to disable them, unless you want Blonsky with you everywhere you go. <laughs> Destroy the Sunday up links. Des destruction is what I do best. So yeah, if we don't destroy these satellites, the army is never going to leave us alone because they can track every move we make. I, I'm sorry, but I don't really want the uh, the army coming to the, to the church. <laughs> couple of times here because yeah you don't have much health to begin with and they love shooting missiles at you which you can take off and use a portion of your health contact contact you need a major damage alert you're missing location of hostile fire available oh no there isn't a lot of missions that do this yeah. Actually, has checkpoints. Oh, my God. 
might be. If I uh, didn't have to shoot missiles at you. My heart was legit racing there. I couldn't even think of anything to say because I was just like, oh shit. I need to actually concentrate here. You have a lot of. You know, weapon fire coming at you. Fire! We're on the offensive now, over. That's it, kid! Five o'clock low. I do think I have enough to, to get the um, air dash I'm probably gonna head back to the church and fly back after. No, I know what the next mission is. I need that um, air dash. Because this one is a chasing mission, and I know I remember that much. I'm, act I'm actually not going to do the tutorial for this one, because it is just you know just as as it describes, it's an air dash. Press the one button in the air. Uh, You, you do a dash forward. The next upgrade I think I'm going to buy is a health upgrade, so I'm going to try and save up my points for that. This shouldn't be too... It shouldn't take us too long, I don't think. Proceed. 
King King K, K and G. Okay, so that's two of the chicos that we've unlocked. I've marked a location on the map near the division weapons test site. There's word the military is sending vital parts through for the construction of more Hulkbusters. And you want me to head them off before they get to the base? There are three separate convoys. Blonsky's counting on the fact that Hulk won't reach all of them in time. Yeah, I don't think we want the military building Hulkbusters. <laughs> So yeah, if the convoy reaches the that uh, the end of that city bar, we do. Make sure you charge your jumps. Leave these are vital if you want to catch up to, 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 to these vehicles. Tango acquired. I'm breaking from the convoy now.
still dancing the footage there is a bit of dream issues but there's so much going on. I'll say that because oh my goodness that was pretty oh, I forgot how much of uh, a rush some of these missions are when you're not, you know part of the pun all hulked out. Sir, my gyros are out. <laughs> The shield. You don't need to pick up a boss or anything. Obviously, it won't be quite so doable uh, as they. Oh you know, a boss or anything because you've already smashed the pieces, but it's certainly worth doing. And there's a particular upgrade for the transplantation that you get later on that I know you guys are going to absolutely adore. But until then, we, you know, we had to make do with what we got. Lock on. Now who's ready for another retrieval mission? Because I know I am. Yeah, I have my controls in the back. Ready to kill my enthusiasm, man. We're going head hunting. I need a neural interface from a Hulk Buster cockpit. Straight, man. They're primed to self-destruct when taken out of commission, so you'll need to separate the head from the chassis and deactivate the mechanism. Sounds like fun. I mean, Where am I going? The, so the military the base. Game, so. Break in, take up the strongest tactical position you can, and wait for the fireworks. So now we're stealing military components. If this, if this that is... sounds pretty fun, man. I guess now it's not it's not a jail sentence, it's a death sentence. It's probably the chair for us at this point. I mean, you're also the goddamn Hulk. I mean, that's true. I think the, I think the, the chair was the death sentence for Daniel the game against Khan in the first place. Okay, so my advice right now is to take out the... Uh, Take out these Hulk clusters right here because otherwise they're just gonna be hounding you all the time. Okay. No. I think after this mission we might have enough to. Um, you know, like to buy our health upgrade. And the dead east, I hope we do. Because a health upgrade would be so helpful for the um, end of chapter boss. Which I actually think isn't, isn't too far away from this mission, actually. Might even be the mission after this. This 
this is this game short? Yeah, I'll be honest, it is. We, this probably won't be more than a few sessions, but I think what the, this game lacks in being not picked up for is its replayability. Yeah, fine. How long would it be? It's about 12 hours, so we do about to the week. Depending on how long we have to go between two to four hours, it could be anywhere from minimum a six or four uh, sessions, depending on when to the size for a session. That is the critical mass move. <laughs> it made a giant shockwave. I did it just far away enough so that I didn't damage the um, part I'm supposed to retrieve. Oh, goody. No! This is my running grab is vital. If you don't have running grab, you are not going to be able to handle this mission. You are just going to be knocked around. Well, you expect to get knocked around anyway, but... Trust me, people. You, in, you, if you had to start to pick this up, not only would this get damaged, but you probably lose a fair bit of health in the process. I decided to pick that guy up and just throw him away just so that to give me a bit of extra time in picking this back up. <laughs> yeah, Hulk, you probably do need a shower, mate. No, fine. Okay, yeah, time for the boss of this chapter, so let's go and see what we can buy. Please let me buy the, um... The health I'll upgrade. be back. Well, we're probably about to finish up in like a few minutes, mate. Okay, cool. Can I... I don't know the points to buy that. What can I get? Probably a couple of things with um Punch, punch, pause, punch, 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 punch. Okay, yeah, that's probably gonna be helpful from the boss.
Actually, why did I need the church? So if I'm going to be finishing up after um, this boss, then I should probably show you what the cheats that we could even not do. So let's let's do that real quick before I forget. Okay, so the first one that I remember is Old Canada. You will cool that does, I will. I'll check that out. I guess we can check that out before we do the, um, before we do the boss. Oh, uh, yeah. And the last, uh... Oh, God, I, I almost forgot that I can't press out, uh, this point on my phone. Otherwise, I read, read the call. Yeah, that's the Last code that we've unlocked so far is was Smash 15, which gives us 15,000 Smash points. So yeah, we could probably buy some more stuff actually. And I'm going to show off the uh, well. What I'll do is, is that at the end of the playthrough, I'll show off all the um, costumes all at once. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's um, continue by. Let's see, ground. That could be useful. This line could be useful. Air Sonic. Yeah, this would be useful. It'd be nice to hit some people in the air. I'm good. Do you play Dooming uh, server? Uh, maybe now and again, but I haven't been from the Not that often because, you know, I've got an Edo Pro. No, I get it. Yeah, I, I'm just wondering because they're mm. doing an event that I would like some help on, but if you, if you haven't played in a while, then no need to. Alright, let's see what Gorilla Invasion does before we um, take on the boss. Because I am genuinely curious, because if it does what I think it does, then that could be a lot of fun. Oh. 
And besides, I, you know, like, I can, you know, go over time a little bit. Yep. Yay. Do something. Oh no, a, it does exactly what you call it does. It puts, it puts the floating gorillas everywhere. So that you can just... Go And just float about that in Egypt. Okay, that is actually awesome. I might actually keep that on. <laughs> I might genuinely keep that in the car. Right. Let's see. I'll get rid of these um, Discord notifications. Yeah, one of them is just me. Someone in our sense is there. So jump, that. jump to the bad lines to get a vision. Jump to the church to get a vision. So you won't be doing. You nearly just had to be back and forth. Thanks. Okie dokie. Proving ground. Uh, ideally, I would like to be a full health for this, but small problem. Some of the parts got through to Blonsky's people while we were busy with the convoy. They're looking to put a new Hulkbuster prototype into service. So let's take them out once and for all. As far as we know, they're working the bugs out at the test site. If we can uh, knock these units out before they have a chance to Done. iron out the kinks, we'll. S okay, I'm gonna play that again because I had a bit of trouble hearing the um, the voice over That's there. Fine. Small problem. Some of the parts got through to Blonsky's people while we were busy with the convoy. They're looking to put a new Hulkbuster prototype into service. So let's take them out once and for all. As far as we know, they're working the bugs out at the test site. If Hulk can knock these units out before they have a chance to iron out the kinks, we'll set them back by weeks, if not months. Okay, so who's ready for a giant mech battle? I mean, I'm a Tokusatsu fan, so you know my answer. <laughs> and I'm a Power Rangers nut, so you should know my answer. Yeah. And for the record, when I say Takasasi, I mean... Oh, we have Sassi. visuals on threat, targeting in T-minus five seconds. Even the bad it on screen now. It's all yours, yeah, General. Not a bad Takasasi. Roger Sassi, that, right. Control. All Hulkbusters, set turrets to remote. Maintain a circumference and we'll do the rest. Human, here's the General. Keep tight and inside, watch your back. Watch your auto trigger. Hit it with everything you've got, boys. Let's show Dr. Banner what it means to mess with the United States Army. Destroyer one base. Okay, so there's all this missile things on the um on this hopper, so Yep, just as this means explaining. Okay. You could, you could use the white and I'll right back. Okay. My family's made barbecue and I want barbecue right now, so Well, okay. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, that's like, didn't ready. Back. Okay. So, I would suggest grabbing this and taking out the back if you can. Like, I highly recommend taking out the middle. Okay, so now 
we, we, we better take out that uh, satellite, otherwise we're going to have Hogwarts constantly um, on, on our tail. Go 
like the boom boom and action. Battles are long and that, that's why it's not
because I've never had the enemy, so... I guess it's up to you to decide. You know... If the, uh, if the risk is worth it. how good the these boss fights can be. <laughs> that, this is one of my favorite comic book games of all time, and even I'm just like, wow, this is better than I even, even remember. So, I'm gonna save here, and I'm going to call it here for a week. Who is currently streaming that I can read? Okay, we're doing some comedy, Johnny. Yep, yep, and yep. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Alright, people, our uh, wait time stand is going to be Hulk Smash. <laughs> That's a very good one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing Splatoon 2 for um, multiplayer night. In order to prepare ourselves for, guess what? Splatfest is coming back next month. Oh, they're actually rebringing it? Yeah, they're going to do Mayo vs. Ketchup again. I think it's a one-off because of um, the thing going around. Ooh. But, yeah. So, I want to get better at Splatoon 2 again before um, doing the Splatfest. Mm -hmm. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow for multiplayer night. Yeah. Have yourselves a fantastic night and take care.